This is like a mutual thing. Like, we're no, 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 I want to bust her coochie. We're going to get you out of the situation. These guys give her a table dance while Adam watches on. I love a man in a black thong. Yeah, where is it? Mm, he's got a nice musk. Oh, Wonderful yeah. Smell. That is like an elephant trunk. Look how many veins there are. That thing was huge. Massive. Wow. And the person who's going to f*** my wife is... <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're reacting to Adam22, AKA Cuck22, in his little show where a bunch of fucking weird trash guys compete to see who is going to win and get to fuck Adam's wife. Great role model, fucking huge loser. Let's jump right in. So we finally got the season finale of this show where Adam would be giving away his <laughs> wife for the second time. In the last episode, <laughs> Look at this contender. His wife's not even that hot either. Look, she's like extra fucking fat in her arms and shit. She's not that great. Crib Mac had taken a steady lead as the fan favorite to get the job. Imagine that's the dude that fucking plows your wife. Crip Mac with the face tats. Maybe she likes those face tats better than Adam 22's fucking Lisa Simpson on his face. As he went around terrorizing both the audience and the competition at the very same time. I wanna bust that coochie in the Oh, you wanna get it out? No, no, no. Get it no, out. no, no, no. <laughs> I've never seen this dumb show, obviously. This shit's hilarious. These guys are all fucking competing to bang his wife and, and just disrespecting Adam and talking shit. This is like a mutual thing. Like, we're no, no, no. I want to bust her coochie. We're going to get you out of the situation. Did you guys know this man recently <laughs> got locked up? I'm in good spirits. Guess what? I'm not going to get locked <laughs> Crip Mac calls from prison. We gotta get you some conjugal visits. We're gonna find some big booty. Up in here. I mean, hey, if this is the legacy he's gonna leave on the world, then so. <laughs> what a fucking dork. Look at him. Would free that man, Crip Mac. Either way, the show only gets more and more cuck oriented as it goes on. As in the next challenge, these guys give her a table dance while Adam watches on. I get to see how they're gonna perform in front of my husband. He's like right next to me. And I think this one guy was actually there to try and hook up with Adam as he comes in with a thong on. I love a man in a black thong. Smell him. Yeah, where is it? Mm, he's got a nice musk. Oh, Wonderful yeah. smell. The French really know how to do it. Honestly, I think Adam was into it. There was a thong involved. I there saw was, a lot of booty. There was a thong. I don't know if you liked it as much as I liked it, but I liked the thong. Hey, yo, I liked the, the, the gyrate, the, the hips, the mask kind of had a little weird. Look at how fucking <laughs> stupid. The Lisa Simpson looks on the side of his dumb fucking head. It's like vibe going, you know? Then a guy named Little D comes in and really shows her how it's done. He picked Lana up, he brought her over to the couch. I just know my heart rate is off the charts. Like there is no way that anyone shot my heart rate through the roof more than him. <sighs> Pound town. And this is when the serious meat watch. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put in the end screen the video where he's trying to act all hard and call out Jason Love, the black dude with the giant cock that already fucking destroyed his wife. And Adam runs around being like, yeah, we're monogamous, we're monogamous. Yeah. All your actions say otherwise, you dummy. King literally begins. Before we go through the rest of this, we are running the best program in the industry. We have over a thousand testimonials on a page. You can book a call with the link in the info card or in the description or pinned comment and go over all the options for coaching and training and all the pricing with someone on my team. You want the guy with the biggest Can we see their Is that possible? Monica, can you ask them? What a great fucking lady. Hey, uh, can we see what their cocks look like so she can get the biggest cock, please? Adam's like, uh, wasn't Jason Loves big enough? So they slowly come out there one by one to show them what they're working with. And this man, Adam, is just straight up <laughs> bone hawking over here. I've seen this one in the movies before. <laughs> That is like an elephant trunk. Look how many veins there are. She wants a slice of the baguette. That thing was huge. Massive. Wow. So as I'm swinging there in front of Adam and Lana, I could see the look on Adam's face and uh, I don't think he was quite ready for what I had to bring. Does it often <laughs> not fit? As I'm swinging there in front of Adam and Lena is a crazy <laughs> sentence. Can we just acknowledge how insane <laughs> in this entire series is? 
<laughs> this is the role model you have for young impressionable men. I've been calling this guy out for a while. Okay, I made a whole bunch of videos showing he's a huge loser. He's a huge pussy. He's a huge sellout. Okay, he was hosting Fresh and Fit despite knowing that they're scammers. I know that for a fact through a third party. Just a huge overall fucking loser. Right, and of course he's gonna go make a series about which guy with the biggest cock and the and the most ghetto traits can go plow his wife for the world to see. Like generations of Adam's descendants will look on in horror as they watch this years back from now. I'm talking about like in the year 2080, his great 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 grandson is gonna be getting made fun of for this. And shout out to Crib Mac for refusing to show off his piece. <laughs> it's for her. It's for her. I swear. Adam. Three years. He's, I've known you three years. Now it's time you show me your. So I choked that mother. I grabbed him and choked him. That's what he said. No, no, no. I mean, my wife wants to see it. This dude's missing teeth. Strange Adam. And this is when they eliminate the Thong Man as well as Crip Mac. Oh, f you, Adam. We all knew this was going to happen from the start. I mean, hell. Adam even said this when discussing the show. She wants Crip Mac to be the one to. I was kind of saying the opposite, but there are people on the show that I think that she would be very happy if they won. And there are people on the show who I think realistically she might jump off of a, a local bridge if they won. Now in the end, they end up choosing Little D as the man to get the job done. And the person who's gonna f my wife is <laughs> Little D. <laughs> Imagine that's the guy that goes and turns out your girl with your blessing, only on the internet. Only with Cuck22. Let's give a round of applause for, for Mr. Lee Simpson tattoo. Nice job. You gotta stop playing with me! <laughs> Should we go upstairs right now? I'm with it. I don't give a f Let's do it. He just won. Let him touch it. Mm. I gotta be the husband of the <laughs> year. Let me tell you, I am the one. <laughs> and I will say, this has all been an absolute masterclass in digital marketing and selling this product, which just happened to be his wife. From a moral standpoint, I could not disagree more with the premise, but there is something to be said about Adam's ability to garner as many impressions as possible and continue to make millions of dollars off of degeneracy. That was his wedding outfit. Yeah. That was his suit from his wedding, yeah? Mm, I think Our wedding. shoes for the wedding. We uh, in your marriage outfits? Well, my tux, but obviously I had taken the tux off by the time we went to Yeah. yeah. I mean, once you've crossed a certain line in the name of money, I guess there is really no going back. How will this affect him and his family in the long run? I do not know. And so obviously the scene has actually come out at this point. I will say when it comes to the internet in general, it really didn't make a sizable splash compared to the first scene where it was like all anyone could talk about. And I do think the novelty of her being with another man has really just kind of run its course. I didn't really see any memes about this. I mean, there were people talking about how during the act, Adam actually did a fist bump with this guy, which is just insane behavior. I mean, he fist bumped a guy banging his wife. He also fucking went and said that the Jason Love clip of Jason Love plowing his wife turned him on. Okay, the guy obviously has some serious fucking problems. He's a huge fucking dork loser. That should be a criminal offense, but that was really all I saw circulating in the web when it came to this film. Now, obviously, with this being a big moment in him and his wife's career, he has been going on a bit of a press run just like he did the first time. And in doing that, he ended up going on this whatever podcast, which I think is pretty much like a uh, diet fresh and fit. You said the reason the value is the financial value is the mm. financials you get for, from the videos But then you also say that you don't do anything with the money that it doesn't really matter to you So you guys don't live a luxurious lifestyle that the money is just kind of sitting there So how is that a finance a financial value if you don't even use it? Well her and I are building a business and also, you know, we have plans of not working forever So for me, it's like, you know, I would like to leave the game with I don't know 10 20 30 million dollars and so us doing that was probably the greatest windfall of money that we ever got from doing anything and it was relatively painless for it. I mean, how do you guys feel about- <laughs> It was relatively painless, minus the fucking 13 inch dick that tore her wide open. And then let's play the clip here about Jason Love talking about slamming Adam's wife and, and how good he gave it to her. Do you think that you f her better than Adam did? Well, obviously, yes. Then let's look at the reaction by Adam22 telling Jason Love that his wife is now off limits. Hey, hey, Jason Love, you are officially blacklisted from smashing my wife again. Nice job, brother. 
you really fucking showed him. That with him like suffering now with the public scrutiny and then maybe just eventually completely wiping himself from the internet, selling off his business for X amount of dollars and then we just never see or hear from Adam again. Is that That would be great. Before we get into the rest of this reaction, okay, I know a lot of you need more Tinder matches, you need more dates, you want more hookups with girls, you want the dating game to be easier, you have a bunch of areas where you get stuck, you don't know what to text, you don't know how to move the girls through the process, or how to walk up to them in public and bring them home. I can solve all those problems for you very quickly. Get on a free 30 minute call with the link in the upper corner here, or in the description or pinned comment. That's so bad. Or are you of the mindset like the internet is forever? And like I said earlier, do you think that what he's doing now is going to affect his family for generations to come? Are you concerned about your child? I believe it's a do she's a daughter, right? Mm -hmm. I have a daughter I just gave birth a couple months ago. Do you ever worry that one day she'll see this content and maybe <laughs> would you want her to be doing content like this? Is this something that would make you proud as a father to a young daughter? I think every parent wants to see their offspring do better than them. So for sure, I wouldn't like to see her, you know, just sort of default to that just because she knows that her parents did it. Um, but as far as if one day she's an adult and she decides that she wants to do whatever, uh, I know a lot of girls who make a shitload of money on and don't even show their So I can't just look at OnlyFans as a profession and say like, oh, that would be a, a hideous way for my offspring to earn a living one day, but I certainly wouldn't be encouraging it. Yeah, you and that's kind of the point where he has really boxed himself in it's just that when it comes to a level of degeneracy that his entire life is on, you really have no room to talk badly almost about anything else. Because when you're to the point where you've sold like the most prized thing in your life, your partner, for like the highest bidder, morally you just really have no grounds to stand on. Now I will say this positive thing about Adam, okay, when this whole cuck arc first came around, a lot of the criticism was centered around, well how is this going to affect your kid? I said in a video that it was just strange to me that when I'm looking at Adam's Instagram story, I could see videos of him playing with his kid perfectly fine. And then on the very next story, I'm seeing all of this explicit material involving him and various women. And something about that obviously just doesn't sit right with people. And so I think ever since detractors started coming forward with these talking points, he has decided to change his tune when it comes to his kid and be a little bit more adamant about protecting her. I don't believe they show her or her face online anymore. And I think that was the right choice. Because at one time they were trying to do like the whole family arc thing. I think that his girl had like a mom Instagram page. I think they had like a family vlog channel. And just the two things cannot really coincide. You wouldn't say it's beautiful. <laughs> so we'll wrap up there and i did another video where i reacted to adam on whatever podcast we can pop up the thumbnail for that so you can take a look at that one as well okay so make sure that you let me know what you think about this in the comments what do you think about adam's behavior online like the video if you found value subscribe to never miss a video every single day and make sure you get on one of those 30 minute calls if you're ready to get all your dating problems solved okay thank you guys and i'll see you on a video soon take care Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out a cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.